All right then, so we've seen how the basics of the grid system works in Beautify. Now I want to take that and actually start to create our design, our template. Now on the dashboard, we're going to use the grid to display a list of different projects, my projects and other team members projects as well. Now for each project, we're going to need a title, a person who it's by or who it's assigned to, a due date and the status. Is it overdue? Is it complete? Or is it ongoing? Something like that. So we're going to create a grid to output these different elements in each row. So let's do that. First of all, we need to delete all of this stuff we've got up here. Like so, we'll keep the container. And the first thing I actually want to do is create an element called V hyphen card. Now we've not talked about cards yet, so I don't want you to worry too much about this, but all this is going to be doing is creating a white background for us with some nice rounded corners. I'm also making this flat so that it's flat against the screen and we don't see the box shadow. Okay. So now inside here, we need a row. And to do that, remember we use V layout. So V hyphen layout like so. And this is going to be a row and we want elements to wrap if there's not enough room. And then inside this, we're going to do our different flex items. So remember we need a project title in each row. We need the person, in each row, we need the due by date in each row, and we need the status in each row. So each one of these is going to be within its own flex item. So let's do V hyphen flex for the first one and make sure you spell that correctly, like so. And this is going to be for the project title. Now on extra small screens, and remember always start at the beginning, extra small and work your way up. On extra small screens, I want this to be full width, so 12 columns in width. Then when we get to medium size screens, MD, I want this to be six columns in width. So half of the grid width. Okay, so this is the title. Now the title is gonna have a little heading and that is gonna be inside a div. So I'll say div and then give this a class of caption because we want it to be quite small and also of gray double hyphen text. So we'll say project title. So this is just gonna sit just above the actual title. So if we preview this, it's going to look something like that. And then the project title is going to be underneath it. So for example, if I come down here and do another div and this time inside, we'll say create a new website, save that, then that's going to sit underneath this. Okay. Now then at the minute, this stuff right here is flush up against the side of the card. This card thing here is the white background. So what I'd like to do is just add some padding to this card. So I'm going to say class equals and then PA and it's going to be three all the way around. So let's save that and view it. And by the way, you need a hyphen after A. So save that. And now that looks a bit better. Okay, so this project title, this is going to take up six columns in width. So it's going to go to about here. So after that, I want the person roughly here. So let's do another flex item for that. So V hyphen flex. And then this time we're going to start with extra small screens again, and it's going to be six columns in width on those size screens on small. It's going to be four and then on medium, it's going to be two. All right. So inside that we want one of these things again. So let's copy that and paste it down here. And this time this is going to be the person. And underneath that, we need another div for the actual person, the net ninja. So let's save that and view this in a browser. All right, looking good. So we also need the due date and the status. So let's do those two next. What I'm going to do is just copy this thing for the due date. Now the due date is going to be the same as this. For extra small, it's going to be six columns in width, for small four and for medium two. So we'll change this right here to due by. And then we'll just put in some kind of date here. We'll say the first Jan. 2019. So save that and view that. All right, looking good. And lastly, we need the status. So let's do one more. I'm going to paste this again. This time for extra small screens, this is going to be two columns in width. Then for small screens, this is going to be four again and for medium two. So this time it's going to be status right here. And then underneath we'll just say ongoing. All right, so this is going to change later on when we come to use chips and style this a bit better. But for now, 
we're looking at the grid and this is looking pretty good. It's taken up the full 12 columns now on desktop and that's because we have six plus two, which is eight, plus two, which is 10, plus two, which is 12. So that's working. Now, as we get to medium size or rather small size screens, then we're gonna see this change a little bit. So let's zoom down and see what happens. So it gets to a certain point and then we get this layout. So these three right here have gone to the next line. The top one here is still taking up six columns in width because we've not reached extra small yet, but these ones all take up four columns in width now and they're down on the next line. If we go smaller again, this is gonna to go to the next line because there's not enough room, okay? So that's nice and responsive. So that is our basic layout for a row of content for one single project. Now, ideally what we want to do is display this many different times. So we could take this and we could copy it and we could paste it, you know, a few times like so, and it's gonna look something like this over here. Now that's fine, but ideally, I don't want to hard code this in the template. What we'd like to do is instead create some data down here and then cycle through that data. So we'll create some projects and then use V4 to loop through that data and output a new row for each item in that data. All right, so that's what we're gonna do in the next video.